Happy Sunday, everybody. Hey, Jessica. Hi, guys. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Glad to have you here on the Sunday afternoon. Hey, hey. Um, <clears throat> I was just kind of working on something for a friend of mine, and I thought I would, you know, do a quick periscope on it. Hey, Dana. Hey, from Arizona. Um, I put together a grief protocol for people who are going through, you know, maybe the loss of a loved one or um, feelings of extreme depression and anxiety. And I wanted to share it with you guys. And also, um, my husband's here to kind of talk a little bit about about some of the foundational products that we'll talk about and how maintaining that foundation is so, so important, first of all, before we kind of move into essential oils. Thank you guys so much. Um, one of the things that's really important, guys, when you are using essential oils for extreme feelings of grief or anxiety or depression is that you understand that essential oils really could could they almost are like a band-aid unless you're really targeting that foundational health um, support that your body needs when you're going through different periods of grief um, if you've lost a loved one. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of my recommendations that I wanted to... Oh, your dog is transitioning. <laughs> um, some of my recommendations for you and also let you know that you can also get these at the end by um, by typing in something and it'll, I'll instantly send you an email with this protocol because I want you to have it on hand right away. So my husband's here and he's awesome at kind of talking about the, the science of our bodies and why our bodies need these foundational products. And for anyone who's going through feelings of grief, um, it goes without saying that really supplementing with the lifelong vitality is so, so important um, in maintaining that healthy foundation that your body needs, especially when you're going through, you know, these different times in your life. So I'm going to let, I'm going to pass it over to my husband and he's going to kind of talk to you a little bit about lifelong vitality and in, in relation to, you know, your emotional health and you know, if you're going through these feelings of grief and why it's so important, as well as um, the bone nutrient and why magnesium specifically is so, so important as well. Hey, everybody. I'm on a, I'm not going to make this a super long chat. Sorry, I've got like a straight tuft of hair. But uh, anyway, I am actually uh, looking at like why we want to focus on the... Um, on the foundation. So who, you know, I would say in a class, I would say like who in a, who in a, uh, with a raise of hands, like, you know, who needs a uh, multivitamin? And hopefully everybody would actually say yes, because we all are extremely um, necessary. Like nobody does grazing, if you will, where we're going to get five or six meals full of everything that we need on a daily basis. And so it's imparent, it's apparent to, uh, to actually get all of those nutrients by the use of, you know, some sort of supplementation. Because if you were to just do a quick, quick Google search, Google, you know, RDA uh, for adults, which is the recommended daily allowance, you can look at what we call macronutrients and micronutrients. Uh, the difference between the two are the macronutrients or something like, you know, you got to think like what food substances that I need more of throughout the day. So, you know, you can also label these as even your fats, your proteins, and your carbohydrates. Well, your mi your micronutrients are going to be all those vital, vital vitamins and minerals that you need for the body to be able to do the processes with the food that you eat to actually give you the energy and all the other things that you're looking for. So, long story short is that none of us actually hit the recommended daily allowances ever, okay? We do not get them. And so, it's important to consider supplementation. And so, you know, just to speak really quickly about how supplementation plays a role, um, if you were to look at something like the doTERRA Wellness Pyramid, you'll notice that the bottom four uh, foundations, if you will, of, the, of that pyramid are actually things that we can make choice basis every single day. So it's things like 
managing your toxins, which we know that there's tons of those in this world, uh, both through our air and what we drink and all of those things. Uh, we know that we need to be getting adequate sleep. You know, we need to get the correct things in our diet, and we also need to all we also need to exercise. So, if we consider those the very bottom one, which is diet, that's the foundation upon which our health is actually built. And so, that's what lifelong vitality will actually do for that foundation. It helps take a typical healthy American diet and supplements it with the products that are inside of this multivitamin supplement in order for you to be able to hit the RDAs that you actually need. Folks, this wouldn't be the number one uh, most popular uh, product in doTERRA if it wasn't for a reason. And so, uh, you know, just to briefly talk about it, the Microplex VMZ is going to be what's going to have your main micronutrients. The Z Omega is a really great uh, complex of both essential fatty acids as well as some other, you know, combinations of like different essential oils that doTERRA chose specifically to help with like cardiovascular uh, health. And then also the Alpha CRS, which is a great longevity complex or what is referred to as like cellular vitality. It's got like some really awesome things. It's got turmeric in it, which we all know is a super powerful uh, thing that you can take for, you know, great cellular health. What do we mean by cellular health? Well, we're talking about like, you know, being able to do the processes necessary for the cells to do what they're designed to do. And so um, this is a really, really fantastic thing to start off with. The, uh, the other types of things that we can do <clears throat> is we can talk about like bone nutrient complex. Now, I do know of gentlemen that actually take this, although it is a part of the women's, um, it is a part of the women's line, if you will, of doTERRA. Uh, but, you know, bone density, as you ladies know, or as you may not know, of course, it decreases as we get older. I'd say that like, you know, depending upon the research that you, that you follow, you know, usually about anywhere between your 20s and 30s, most women are going to be in their maximum bone density at that point. Once you start getting past the age of 30 into your 40s, that's unfortunately when it starts decreasing. Certain things like smoking, being of a certain ethnic background, you know, things like that are going to unfortunately also contribute to a decrease in bone health. And so this bone nutrient complex, cam, complex, complex can actually be utilized with the lifelong vitality. Uh, all it's recommended is that if you're going to take the microplex, which is the multivitamin comport, component of lifelong vitality, is actually only take two of those a day and drop, or, and then add two of these in mm -hmm. a day. Mm -hmm. And so this is going to get you a lot of like the really. Um, really great bone minerals and bone nutrients that you need. So it's got vitamin C and D2, D3. We know that vitamin D is super important for bone growth, or excuse me, for bone maintenance even. It's got calcium, obviously. It's got magnesium in it, which my wife will also touch on as well for, you know, adequate sleep uh, concerns and, thing like, and, and, and being able to address that. And then, of course, it's got zinc, copper, manganese, and boron. And all, all of those are the micronutrients that you need for not only creating new bone, but also being able to resorb and process bone appropriately. So that's what that's all for. So Terrazyme. Terrazyme is one that I take uh, in my daily protocol every time I eat. So this has seven. Am I correct? No, it actually has now nine. Almost digestive 10. Enzymes. So it has the whole food digestive enzymes all in there. So if I want to digest carbohydrates, it has the particular type of food-based enzyme for that. If I want to digest certain proteins, it has the particular enzyme for that. It's real complex, or excuse me, it's real comprehensive. It's got exactly what you need. You take it with your meal in order to be able to appropriately digest exactly what you need to for you know your metabolic processes. Last but not least, which I am glad is out of the bottle, is the PB Assist. So the PB Assist is actually super cool. Um, it is an enteric coated capsule on the outside, which is this clear capsule. This can actually pass through the harsh acid-based environment of the stomach, which is not a bad thing to have because that is the, when we swallow, it's got a, any bacteria that could possibly be on our food. Our stomach acids are really great about ridding that. So we don't, that, that helps us with unwanted stomach acid. Uh, yes, to answer your question, if you're talking about PB Assist, I actually take it. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. So the PB stands for probiotic. And yes, you do actually. I just take this once a day in the morning. Um, so anyway, so you got the enteric capsule, which is important. 
All right. And then inside, what's really nifty is that that green component is actually chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll, because the bacteria are inside of that capsule, the chlorophyll uh, and the bacteria can make it down to your gut in order for you to be able to start having that bacteria proliferate. It actually will consume and eat that chlorophyll like it's, it's food substance. That way it can start growing in your gut to give you the good bacteria that you actually need inside of your gut. It all runs down to gut health, okay? Uh, gut health has been shown in, in, in numerous studies that if you start off with appropriate gut health, all the other processes of the body actually will come around. So folks will report certain things like they're resting and they're sleeping better. That, you know, the feelings of anxiousness or any type of depressive symptoms, those are decreasing. Obviously, folks will have more energy. You know, your, your issues of inflammation, you know, your various conditions that you may have are improved with effective gut health because your body has now what it needs in order for it to officially be able to help itself. You know what I mean? Like we're not trying to diagnose or treat or cure anything, but if we give the body, if we go back to the foundational aspect of the doTERRA pyramid, if we, if we focus on the foundation, the rest of the pyramid will be nice and strong. And so all of those other things that we can be doing by our lifestyle choices can all help out and they'll all actually be effective. And you'll notice that you'll stop having these cascades of symptoms of various things if we once again focus on appropriate health. And like I said, that starts with proper nutrition, proper diet, and proper exercise. Um, we can give you recommendations all day long, but you know the important thing is, is that at the end of the day, you have to say, I choose to make these appropriate decisions for the welfare of my own health. And so, uh, you know, you have to think like, let's, let's hit the rewind button. You know, now we're all of a sudden, you know, in 1000 AD. Well, folks, they didn't necessarily have any of the modern medicines that we have today. And so what did they do? They dealt with a lot of things, but how did they deal with a lot of those things? They ate right. They got enough exercise. A lot of them obviously were trade workers and things like that. So they had very hard work. They didn't have to go to a gym. That, you know, that was their trade as they worked hard for a living. And, uh, and, and honestly, a lot of those conditions and stuff like that weren't necessarily around. We have a lot of conditions these days, you know, because of the choices that we've made in our food and all the other things that we place either in or around our bodies, which actually do a lot of harm. You know, but they might be cheaper. They might be more efficient for somebody to produce. They might, in fact, even be something that might be able to, you know, something crazy like change our genetics, which is absolutely absurd. But all of these things can happen and they are happening around us. And so it's important to consider really good diet and really great supplementation so you can make sure that you're giving your body everything that it needs. Because you know what? When you're born, it's equipped with everything that it needs. And all we're doing is we're just trying to help support that. So um, I, Thank you. I think that was it, right? Yes. So I'm going to give it back to Jackie. Love this girl. And I know that you guys do too. So have a wonderful Sunday. Isn't he awesome? So that's the foundational products that you would need if um, really if you're dealing with extreme feelings of stress and anxiety, um, and specifically, you know, if if you or someone you know, or when you're teaching a class, you know, if you're a part of DoTerra, who is feeling with who is dealing with grief of a lost one of a lost loved one. Um, and so a little bit of a history right now, just as I kind of open up my document. By the way, if you want to snapshot this, this is where you can download my protocol that I'm going to kind of go into right now. So just snapshot it on your phone. You're going to text 3344 and in the text message, you're going to just write grief protocol. And I know it's probably backwards for you guys. Um, so Frank talked about the foundational products and we didn't want to skip on that. That is probably the most important part when you are dealing with grief. Um, my whole journey in doTERRA started with grief. That is why I really came to absolutely love the products and the oils was because I was dealing with the loss of my sister and I was looking for something, a more natural alternative to use to support my body in the emotional state that I was in to come out of that grief. And with the combination of eating really good, um, and I was eating really 100% paleo, I was exercising, 
you know, and for me, that really started with really light walking and getting out, getting out of the house, getting up and getting your body moving, and then using the essential oils as well. And so my journey started with a bottle of Elevation, which is our joyful blend. And it was something that was the beginning of my doTERRA journey and which is why I'm here today and have a team of thousands and thousands of people was because I wanted to choose to breathe in more joy. Um, and so it's a very conscious effort if you are grieving. Um, it's a conscious effort to get up every day. It's a conscious effort to um, to take the vitamins to support your body. Um, it's a conscious effort to use the oils. You know, it's something that might be a lot of work for you at first, but I can promise you that it's going to help you in so many different ways. So in the morning, um, when you wake up, if you can eat a meal, um, I'm one of those who actually can't eat when I wake up. Um, so I usually drink like a bulletproof coffee or something just to kind of um, get onto my belly so that I can take my vitamins. And so I recommend taking the Lifelong Vitality in the morning. And if you're just starting out with Lifelong Vitality, I always tell people to start with only a fourth of a dose. So that would be one pill of each of these um, once a day. And then after a few weeks, you would add another pill. So one pill in the morning of each and then one pill at night. Um, and so, and if you feel good on that, then stay on that. A lot of people don't take the full dose of Lifelong Vitality. They only really feel like their body needs the half a dose. So if you feel after a few weeks on that half a dose that you need something more, then add in that third pill of each a day and you can take up to four of each. Um, and then also, so, so important is to get a diffuser in your house. Um, I mean, science and research, and you can guys look it up online on how smells impact our body so much and our emotional health. So you get a diffuser going. In the morning, I always, I, what I personally used was I diffused um, elevation and peppermint together. Um, and that was something that I put in the kitchen, and I still diffuse it to this day because it just brings back so many memories of me getting through this tough time to where, you know, to, to being at this place that I'm at right now. Um, so I, I would recommend doing three drops of elevation and three to four drops of peppermint in the morning. And so that's going to wake you up. Those oils and elevation are very uplifting to the body. They are supportive of your um, emotional health and grieving that you're going through. And it's an excellent blend to use in the morning. Um, another one that I recommend is Balance. Balance is our grounding blend of essential oils. It's very um, deep and woodsy and earthy, um, but it's a really great one to use topically on your pulse points. And so I made a roller bottle of it, and I would just, you know, a roller bottle is, it has a little ball on the end to where you can actually quickly apply it to your different pulse points on your body. And so I would apply balance to my wrist, to behind my ears, and the back of my neck is where I would put balance on every single morning. And I keep it in my, in my bathroom next to my toothbrush so I can remember to apply it. Um, if you must work and if you must get moving and you have to get up, um, motivate is an excellent blend to use. Um, when I was going through my whole grieving process, I didn't have these emotional supportive oils that doTERRA has now. Um, these are called the emotional aromatherapy oils and you can get them on October 3rd. You can get them in a roll-on bottle or you can get them in a five milliliter bottle. If you're going to diffuse these oils, I recommend you get them in the five milliliter bottle. Um, and then, and then making your own roll-on bottles or just applying them topically to your pulse points. Um, if you have, if you aren't going to diffuse them, then this is a really great and easy way to apply them topically to your skin throughout the day as needed. And all, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You really just look at, um, you're going to get a wheel with your, with your blends if you do purchase the emotional aromatherapy. And you just look at how you want to feel. You look at the wheel and you look at how you want to feel. Do you want to feel more happy? You know, then you might want to use cheer. Do you have to get up and do you have to go to work? Do you have to get your body moving? Do you have kids? You need to get them up. Then motivate would be an excellent one to use. And so depending on how you feel in the morning, 
you know, these are the oils that you would apply topically to your body. And so um, in addition to balance. Now, during the day, um, when I was going through my, my feelings of grief, there would be periods of, um, there would be crying episodes, just really bad episodes where you're down in your grief and you're crying and you just can't get out of it. Um, I recommend using console. This is an excellent comforting blend that you can apply this topically, um, to your pulse points. All right. Over the heart is an excellent place to apply console. So I, I love, love, love um, this blend. It got me through this past month, which has been a very difficult month. And it's just, it has really warm and comforting oils in it. I almost call it like a hug in a bottle. You know, if you need that hug and you need that comfort, um, this is really good. And so combine this with whatever you do for spiritual support. You know, if it's saying an affirmation, you know, if it's reading your Bible, if it's, you know, putting on your praise and worship music, you know, which is kind of like what I like to do. I would, I would do this in addition to that. It's a really great one to use in addition to whatever you go to for, um, as your higher power for spir spiritual support. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that you've been diffusing it. So it's an excellent one to diffuse as well. Um, this is, so if you do, like I said, if you are interested in diffusing it, then make sure that you purchase, or if you, you know, if you already have them, you use the five milliliter bottle. The roll on bottles are only for topical use. And, um, good fact is that they come with the steel ball on the end, which you can easily pop off when it's all empty and refill it up, um, with, more of your console. Um, another really good one. So you want to use during those crying episodes, you want to use console. And then I recommend you follow it up with cheer. All right. So those are excellent. It's kind of an excellent combination to use together. If you are finding yourself deep in those um, crying episodes that you want to use console. All right. For Put that on and then follow it up with using cheer to kind of cheer you up and get you out of it and get you moving again. Um, one that I really, really love to recommend is I agree with using console topically. It does smell but smell a lot better to me as well. And yeah, it, these oils are going to smell different depending on your body chem chemistry. There was a few oils that I smelled diffused or straight out of the bottle and I didn't really like it at first until I applied it on myself and then smelled it and smelled a 100% different. So just remember that they're going to smell different on your own body and just to experience those different ways, topical and diffusion, those two, those different ways using them. This is an excellent one. Um, if you are going through a, your, your, you know, extreme feelings of grief or depression, and maybe you're having a hard time just forgiving yourself or forgiving somebody else. I love this blend. This is a very deep blend that has a very um, woodsy smell because of the, it's got Arbor Vitae in it. It's got um, Nootka tree oil as well as thyme and some other really good ones. This smells really, really good if um, you're having a hard time just forgiving yourself or forgiving somebody else. I absolutely love this blend. These emotional aromatherapy oils are um, they are gold for anyone going through grief. And these are my go-to oils now that I recommend for people. Um, for me, using elevation in a diffuser necklace was so, so good. And so every single morning, I would apply it into my diffuser necklace, which had a little leather disc on it. And I would just wear that throughout the day. And I remember even kind of going like this throughout the day as I needed it, just to kind of remind myself to breathe in joy. And that breathing in joy was a choice that I needed to make. And so I wore it kind of as a reminder. And, um, and so I, I love, I always recommend diffusing necklaces to people who are going through grief just so they can carry that oil on them. And, you know, maybe they want to have an affirmation like I did with the necklace and breathe, making a conscious effort to breathe and joy. Um, yes, it, these are great to use on children as well. So don't forget about them. You know, if they've lost a loved one or a family member, these are excellent to you to wear on them as well. Um, I, during the day, I make sure that I have my diffuser going with uplifting oils. So when you think of uplifting oils, those are, you know, passion, 
or um, motivate from the emotional aromatherapy line, but anything citrus, so wild orange, bergamot, um, citrus bliss, all of those are excellent uplifting oils, and you want to make sure that you have those going in a diffuser throughout the day. Um, so at night, you know, we kind of bring it back around to supporting our foundational health, and that comes back to taking that second dose of lifelong vitality, making sure that you take that with your meal, as well as Terrazyme and um, your PB Assist. So I take one PB Assist a day, and I usually take it at night, and I take Terrazyme three times a day with my meals. You know, and as Frank said, it's really important to support our gut health because so much of our outward symptoms and our health, I believe it's 80% of it, it all originates with our gut. And so if we can maintain a healthy gut when we're going through periods like this, then you know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel a huge difference in your health. Uh, the new formula is perfect for somebody with MTHFR, which I have uh, two gen genetic mutations of MTHFR, and I take the new Lifelong Vitality. Um, it has folate in it, which is excellent for your health. So yes, to answer your question, as well as share my personal experience with you. Another one is calming. You really want to bring your body down into a calming, that calming atmosphere. And that can be really hard at night, especially if you're dealing with, you know, memories and things like that. Um, so I, you know, not just our kids who need a bedtime routine. I really believe that we need a bedtime routine too. And so I made sure that at least three times a week I was taking a calming bath. Um, I took a calming bath and I put some uh, Epsom salt in the bath. I put calming oils like Serenity, Lavender, uh, Ylang Ylang those kind of things, um, adding about 10 drops to a full tub of, you know, of water along with about a cup to two cups of Epsom salt and just sitting in that for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes and really letting your body calm down is an excellent way to get your body in the, in the mood for sleep because sleep is something that's really challenging for people who are grieving. And um, if you can kind of support your body with a bedtime routine, you're gonna see a huge difference, as well as turning off the phone, um, turning off the laptop, turning off the TV, getting that light um, out of your face so that you can actually start calming down. Um, maybe putting on some you know, music or uh, reading a book is a really great way to bring your body down into a more calming mode. Um, I love to diffuse Serenity, and I put it in my pedal diffuser before bedtime. Um, yes, blue blocker glasses are excellent. I wear those when I'm working throughout the day. Those are really, really great. Um, diffusing Serenity, I put my diffuser on for one hour um, in my room, and I put Serenity in it, and, I, and as I'm laying down to bed, that you know Serenity is kind of filling the room off up, and after an hour, it shuts off automatically. If I wake up throughout the night, I'll click my diffuser back on for another hour. Um, and so depending on, you know, what I'm waking up for, if I'm waking up because I'm having bad dreams or, you know, night terrors, which people who are grieving have a lot of, um, Juniper Berry is excellent for that. If you're, you know, and it's excellent for kids who are having nightmares as well. So I'll apply Juniper Berry to um, my wrist and my neck. If I am, if I did wake up because of a bad dream or a night or a nightmare, or maybe just um, you know a memory, a bad memory of something in the past. So I also love putting. Um, now I, I I made a roller bottle of it, but now you can purchase a roller bottle of peace, and so I'll apply peace to my topically. That's the oil that I use topically before bed. Um, and it's an excellent blend of oils that are really supportive of calming your body back down. It's got that really good vetiver in it. It's just got excellent oils that um, you can use topically to bring your body down um, into that yang, you know. Um, yang is the really calming part of our body and just bringing your ba body back down to that. Um, and also, if you do, if you are really having bad, um, bad, a very bad rest, then um, using vetiver, and vetiver is a root that is, um, honestly to me, it smells like a bag of potatoes, and I really hated it at first, but oh, it's the, bene the therapeutic benefits outweigh the smell to me, so 
I put that on my feet at night, especially concentrating on my big toe, which in reflexology is connected to our, our brain. Um, so I make sure that I put that on my feet if I am having a really hard time falling asleep. Um, some other things to consider is, um, like I've said, is just making sure that you eat healthy foods, light exercise, um, using your emotional aromatherapy oils, uh, whether if it's the touch kit or the, the regular five milliliter bottles, getting a diffuser is, I mean, that is so, so important. And then just supporting your foundational health is so important. And so that's it. I hope that this was encouraging to some of you guys or even, you know, educational. If you meet somebody who's dealing with grief, um, feel free to swipe left to right or right to down and up, whatever your phone does to share it. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Periscope. And just share it with somebody that you love who might be going through this. Um, also, as well, when you text this phone this phone number, you're going to get an instant uh, PDF of this protocol. And it's going to mention something in there about um, if you are or if you have somebody that you love who has lost somebody to suicide. And that is specifically because that's what you know I went through. Um, if you've lost somebody to suicide, then I'm actually just started a um, kind of like a charity for people who have lost somebody to suicide, and I'm giving them a bottle of elevation. Um, and that's all on my website, and you'll get that in that email. And if it's something that you want to support and have a big heart for, then um, you can donate to that as well, and the link will be sent to you. So here that is again. You're going to text the number 33444 and put grief protocol in the message and it'll ask you for your email give you your email and then automatically to that email address you'll get the protocol so that's it everybody i hope that you found this useful and i hope you have a good saturday uh, sunday and get some rest today and get ready for the for the work week um starting tomorrow i'll see you guys on the next scope bye everyone